being stuck at home doesn't mean that you have to stop playing badminton or stop any of practice. So for this one, all you're gonna need is a little bit of a wall. You can do this inside or outside if you have a little bit of space. So you'll need a softball um, and of course your racket. Um, and if you want a little bit more of a challenge later on, then you can use a shuttle. This is gonna be practicing both our different types of grips and also our reactions. To start with, let's go with our backhand grip. So that thumb on the back of the racket. Keep the feet nice and wide. Keep our body weight nice and low. You're just gonna try and hit using that backhand against the wall. So you want to really try and focus on not really using too much of that arm. And it's just that small squeeze from that fingers and that wrist. So try and keep that action really nice and short. So aim, if you can, for maybe five to begin with. Once you get to five, then on to 10, 15, and so on and so forth. So once you've done a little bit of practice with the backhand, we're now gonna be moving on to our forehand side. So we're gonna be using our basic grip. So of course, remember that strings to the side, that thumb and index finger on either side of that racket and a nice light grip, so that kind of handshake grip there. Using that basic grip, again, just keeping that action nice and short. I'm not moving the arm every time, it's just a nice short action, really focusing on that control of that ball. So once you're comfortable using that backhand grip and that basic grip to hit backhand and forehand against the wall, we can now make it a bit more challenging and by going from that backhand to that basic grip. You want to try and keep it light in those fingers so you can quite easily change from that basic grip to backhand. Go for about five on your forehand and then five to your backhand. To make it progressively more challenging, you can now drop down to four on one side and then four to the other side, and again down to three. And then to two. And then to one. So if you've got a little bit more space width-wise, then you can also add in some movement. I don't have too much space, so I'll try and demonstrate as much as I can. But you can start off over to one side using that backhand and then try and transfer us way across and then back towards the left and then continue right and then back left. Again, you can do this with that forehand side whilst keeping those feet nice and wide, moving, keep nice and good control. And again, to make that even more challenging, moving whilst changing grip. So again, you can go one, two, three, four, five, and then switch across. Another really good drill we'll be able to on top of that is to go into some drives. Let's start with our backhand first. So instead of just keeping it low, hit a couple high, and then go into a bit more of those drives with that racket up instead of just keeping it low. If that ball or shuttle when you're actually playing the game comes up nice and high, we don't want to keep that wrist up high just to hit up here because that's just going to send the shuttle up to the ceiling. And obviously we want to try and keep it nice and low. So start off just doing a few low and then hit a few high. And then as it starts to drop back down, switch back. So again, we can do the same on that forehand side, we're using that basic grip. So once you get comfortable doing a few there, and some a few high. Once you've done all that, and you're a little bit more confident in all those different types of grips, hitting at different levels, and even moving left and right, you can try and put that all together and randomize where you hit it. So I still want to see some control, but you could go from that backhand up a little bit across.
across that forehand. And depending on where the ball is, try and use that appropriate grip. So if it is slightly in front of you or to the left, if you're right-handed of course, then use that backhand grip. If it's coming over to the right-hand side, it's going to be slightly easier switching to that basic grip, that forehand side. And don't forget to include that movement. If you've got a little bit more space, you can push a little bit more on the angles, really try and challenge yourself, try and move about a bit more. So once you've gone through all of that and still want a bit more of a challenge, then you can go back to that first drill of just using that backhand and use a shuttle. So with the shuttle, it will bounce off at slightly random directions. So it is a little more tricky using a shuttle instead of a board. So have a go and most importantly, have fun.